Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. Here we have an assembly in a bill of materials within the graphics area. Now if we click in the bill of materials you'll get some bomb type options and these are listed as top level only, parts only or indented. Currently we're using top level only. We've recently been asked what do these options actually do, what do they mean? Okay, so we're on top level only and if we look at the structure of our assembly tree everything there is collapsed. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven top level parts and one sub-assembly. Within our um, bill of materials which is set to top level we have that shown here okay so what we are seeing in the top level bomb is basically the top level assembly tree structure that's listed here if I change the structure we go to parts only what parts only does is it effectively ignores the sub assemblies within the um, assembly tree and just shows the parts within within them so for instance here you can see that we don't see the crank sub at all within this list, we just see the components that are inside it. And then finally we have indented and with indented you get some additional options which we'll look at in just a second. So with indented um, what you see is the sub-assembly listed as an item in its own right and then the components within the sub-assembly um, listed within them. If I just set this to left align you can see that it indents them slightly across as well so you can see very quickly that these are part of that sub-assembly. Okay now the additional options that you get within here are as follows. You can have no numbering or you can have detail numbering. So I like this one quite a lot. It's very easy to see so I can see that um, crankshaft, crank arm and crank knob are part of item 7 um, and they're listed sequentially 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. What's quite nice here is that if you have multiple sub-assemblies, so let's say that we had a sub-assembly inside the crank sub, it would number it as 7.1.1, .1, that sort of thing. So uh, it's very, very easy to then break down the assembly structure. And then finally we have flat numbering, which um, yeah is interesting. Um, Basically within here, um, every item, even the sub-assembly and its parts, are given a unique number. Okay, So you're kind of relying on the indent to, to know that that, for instance, is part of that sub-assembly. Okay, so that's what those options mean. Thanks for watching.